I stand with Bobby Wayne right now, we are Solomon. Because so I'm not going to go to the question. But because I'm popular. 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 You can choose your friend, but you can't choose your family. Solomon, I'm not going to Bobby Wayne. I'm not going to Solomon, I'm not going to go to the question. I'm not going to go to the question. I'm not going to go to the question. i I told him one, no man, a cigar, one. To them, reality. Oh, man, when I came to look at your politics, I've been to be a child, maybe or what I don't know. Oh, man, a cigar, one, a chest of a boy in school fees, a team of Susan sent it. Mogunjuro, Mogunjura, one, oh, man, about the name Yagam, Mogunjura, Mogan, and Yaga. Oh, man, about that, or what I got a cousin, Mogan, or one, as in the Cosamero, Momogudi, and Tomana, Chachim Susan school fees. I stand with Bobby Wine, Kubia Solomon. Mm. Ah, Katugenda ku songe ndala full figure. Mm. E songa ya mtabani wa Bobby Wine. Mm. Bobby Wine yabadde mu luchi ko resomero na gamba Solomon ba mu setting enjaga. Eddie Master na mugano ku simba ku bwa Eddie Boy. Na mugano ku simba ku leadership position yo na mu somero. E songa ba wa bidi. Mu office okusinzira ku ye. Kiba mugambo mwana we ali average student. Sika sazo. Ebyo byo bokulembeze bya bakasazo. Ekyo kubiri omwana wa ali famous nyo. Tojja kukirizibwa kwesi mba wa kalwa jaka utabuusi twajja kuba o competition. Go chogera coach. Anjagala muna yuga na laba ba dictator tegere ba dictator bali. Mm. Oga moto omwana wo muntu nti na ali famous nyo mbantu. Why? Ndi mansi ta wa chisubi. Nafe twaso ali roza bya mbuka ka wubi. Yes mwana. Yes mwana nga bana Kato Ne unyiza simaka aje unyiza kubatu asoka ndoza byambu a enjaga Solomon enjaga nayo okusinzira Bobby Wine yada nyonyola era ngambi kanda be full figure rwale ambulire Ekisoka Solomon ne baba amukwata ne enjaga which is okay embo ezala ambwa walo yagalo mukwata nachi wani mukwata nachi embo ezala ambwa era nga muwozo omusanga gamba anti rugero a a era jeno no muwozo je musanga na mundu Solomon <laughs> Name <laughs> Ne no kwati no nechi yao. Kati yadi oso baso wamu kwa solinga no mwa ndolinga okusinga koko fe. Tigwe chukule mi mwa ndovai na kanto kanya muga mbe mumire mbe mubuuntu. Sisi gani pabri kwa mwa njia gaba mwa nanga ba na bara na yeye. So zasaa chama mu nyo valio. Ela saa chama mu nyo chizibu. Kupa mwa ndovai ingira dolo sensi. Abana ba kuidem ba celebrity. Abana ba ino mbamba ba kuidem 
Ngaba government just sanga jeno mozi ne mondo ba na masas. Hmm. Oge na muta. Mwana wa muyekera. Mwana wa musirikali siwa muyekera. President si muyekera kan. Lagadi nzaka kupule chiga machim. Eh. Abantu amu kufini nzaka kupule mabremi. Amanya kufini nzaka songa ya bongo. Hmm. Nsonga sana monte ina nyovali yao. Mwana ba ya galakula kuteka umbera. Meto jika umbera ngaba na Uganda. Mbira nsasulire kuba Bobby Wine yagamba which hand omwana ayi bamutambulirako baba agala iye naye ne bagamba yo watu lemye mumulemedwa katude ku mwana mhm mhm nya yo si chitofu mhm abana afuli mwana ine ne isaba ye isa olizo sanga sonotira kwata Bobby Wine yeka bakwanda mm. Bobby Wine yamanyidwe nyo ye yajja mawulire aha mhm maybe nga nabita dembe nyinyi bababo benyinyi nyinyi Kalanga chawe ya vudena yogera. No so sanga bako ataba. Wadu chiko lwa bazadde. Mm. Yana agamba ye. Nchiko nyingi ba musabu obuta jia. Ainzo kukosinga unnecessary excitement. Kubabo biwa ini ya aliko. Ndoza ya kulimba aliko kuchi. Nanti ya yogedi. Atuleke na wata aliko kuchi. Ya aliko lido opposition ni. Ya lido opposition ni. Kuchia wabini bifu kwa babini wabichi. Ata mpuga kwa lachi. Mpuga ya ni. Bobo <laughs> 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 Bobby Waini, the <laughs> leading opposition figure in <laughs> Uganda. He is the president of the TV. I don't know if he is the president of the TV. I don't know if he is the president of the TV. I don't know if he is the president of the TV. I don't know if he is the president of the TV. I don't know if he is the president of the TV. I don't know if he is the president of the TV. I don't know if he Nazari wa ni mugezi, nasome na muto la mama wange na some sewa katonda. Hmm. Kati mokusimu wa kubaya mbachi simanyi. Nge, nga chiri nge chikulumye nyoga mandi bobi wa ini. Ya kulira abo opposition ni wano. Bonga nti bobi wa ini yari. Kwa chito ni bobi wa ini wano. Gendo, gendo mugumu yungo interview yenga. Kori na tatu ya bobi wa ini. Which is okay. Kwa chari musango bobi wa ni chari wange. Kati nonze si jirina. Chite geza ate kwe chari uo nyo. Oli buladi wange tano wange kati kwe si chari uo. Kati wacha hako nyiza nyo. Ate wacha nyo. Kwa mbe konda nyiza. Kwa mbe mbe ya rikonga toli na ange. Tula ngonzala wa ya kala kumba nyira. Aa mbiyo mfuze eri. Mbiyo mchi. Mbiyo mchi. Mbiyo presidential advisor. Ndi presidential advisor nane title number ya inachi. Zi government ya nsaswa ya ni ya msaswa. Ye president wa NUP. Government ya nsaswa ya nsaswa ya nsaswa ya nsaswa ya Boyariko, ngandi wano. Chikolumye. Andi magalo muzo, magalo muzo, tonzala wanze mani. Tuzo wala kuzala wafuru fika. Gendo mjeko, gendo kwa wawinta vinga, muma nyira nyo. Trace. Ndi wakabi. Toda yoko nyumi ya bobi wa ini fulu figa wa. Wa dadadi na tatu uyo. Mkumi nyumi ya kote simu sangu. Muna Uganda. Echi simu kumuku susako. Siku kumuku susako. Nja kalo yokele mwili ya lite. Siku wanja ulonga bantu wa bala. Wanja ulo. Ndoza yoko limba. Mm, omanyi wachi ngamba wanja u. Wano wetu tude na amara yita. Akatengo ina kanji. Si katengo. Mwe musinga katengo. Wano yeza kufaddi. Eh, wabula nkuno nyeleze na kusaka. Ngokuwa masimu wa meka. Nkubye manji. Ndeka kwa kwega ya nwe ya gana mpese ende na kwa hachi. Bwachi sigo kwa vide. Bwachi si aliko interview yoyo. Siwe zandi wakabi. Singa ni mama u. Fulu figori wakazi. Hey. Yenso ngaruachi ntude Sina na au. Sina ni galo fule ndo jowai. 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 Yes. Ah. Fulu figa. Wakana mu. Si wakana. Si fulu figa. Ndi wakabi. Ah, guno siku ya mulundi guo kubela kufaino chano ogusose. Mm. Guno mulundi gulinga kwa kusaka. Ndi wakabi. Mumiake satu. Mm. Wade kumulundi guno. Mm. Nienda kwe si wake giri jolio wakabi. Mwadi nda kwa mkujeke gumi. Gwe. Gwe. Nienda kwa. Eh. Tres, eh, tu lino wa kabi fulu figa. Watu nkuu atano. Hmm? Kati, 
Nengiri jo yoke de kubya ba girlfriend. Oso kujaku girlfriend wa interview. Simani njia mubuza. Gano jimu jiko ba oso bola. Gana ujumu kaka sa. Neka first kwa ni makwele mukamela. Nani wakabi? Eri njia tuli wili la follow figure. Wewe kadi ni damu nsi. Complete package. Wala wewe mbele wanganda bi kada ama bi na kada ama bi nebiere mire wa. Nga mukazi mtu siwe mukazi ro mukazi we mulaita golozo aso kuja ko interview gwani bakuleta kuboli waka ocha ino kolere miaka na musambu ono bato fude okutuka ku fulu fulu okutuka mukota yi okubere waka bi nganza zendi waka bi eh chikwata kuso kolere miaka ngana oba atana mm okubera mukota yange okusitwa chenzi towa okubera waka bi nganza ama mugena afanga timuli baka bi nganza Akati bobo bobo chari yao, zindi wakabi. Ena uli wakabi chovu vera kufai no chan. Nkono nyerese bang, hicho chon chikiriza. 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 Biwa ino gena mulo chiko biogera office to yaba deyo. Bena mungu zonwe kumu njia kuku watui. Njia kuku watamu ni ndo. Mba. Njia kuku fumito rubalo mu ni ndo. Antamu baba lo wazanti baje kuri ni dira bantu ba fukira fukira bantu omuntu al. I stand with Bobby Wayne right now with Solomon because so so I come and manage your man about my girl no question about him but because are you popular? Are you popular? No, she tell me are you popular? Omo zungu a government you can choose your friend but you can't choose your family. Solomon, your man and Rizari with Bobby Wayne. Kaka ni magatu government. Solomon, you are the most popular man in Nigeria. Hembu is all hembu. Nemu was the most popular man in Nigeria. Omo popular man in Nigeria. Omo popular man in Nigeria. Omo popular man in Nigeria. I told him one, one a cigar, one. To them, reality. Oh, one, but I came to look at the politics. I've been to be a child, maybe a while, and I don't know what I don't know. Oh, one a cigar, one, a chest of a boy in school fees that you must have sent. Mugunjuro, Mugunjura, one, oh, one, I want an Enjaga, Mugunjura, Mugan, and Yaga. Oh, one, I want that Korabat, I got a casim, Mugan, or one, Azima Kusamero, Momogudi, and to one, a chest of school fees. I stand with Bobby Wine, Kubia Solomon. Mwaka kukutukunye bantu kwenye kana hawa na hawe. Tomanya, tomanya na kumanyira. Tomu za no sense. To a child in this school, Wang Chagulanyi Solomon Kampala, who has been a student since senior one and is in senior four. I am not an OB of this school, but my grandfather is an OB and my father is an OB of this school. <laughs> Mr. Chairman and fellow parents, I'll be very brief. Uh, my two issues, one is on discipline and another is on equality. Now, I'm very glad that Mr. Headmaster mentioned it in his uh, opening remarks that we must speak, and therefore speak, I will. Uh, and second, I want to thank the chairperson of uh, Smakoba who mentioned that discipline does not only relate to students, it relates to we, the parents, and indeed to you, the teachers and the administration. Uh, Mr. Chairman and fellow parents, on the 21st of last month, we woke up to disturbing news. The headline was, Smart suspends Bobby Wine's son of a drug abuse, confirms headmaster. Now this was in Nile Post, it was in Galaxy News, it was in Spire News, it was even in Daily Monitor. And they were quoting you, Mr. Headmaster, having given an interview to the extent that my son was caught with drugs in the school. As a parent, it was very depressing. And I believe to fellow parents, it was very disturbing. Um, I thought, much as I have access to the media, I thought the moral thing to do was to raise this issue on this platform because this is the ideal platform to raise it. I will mention that for all the years my child has been a student here, I have never attended or even addressed the AGM because I was always politely requested not to attend in order not to cause what they call unnecessary attention. I thought it important because like every other parent, I love my child and I want to protect my child, even protect him from himself. Mr. Edmaster and our fellow parents, to take us a little back, allow me to lay these facts there. That young man had been reporting to me a pattern of segregation and targeting on him. As you all parents know, sometimes children lie. So I did not give the young man attention. 
We raised our children to be leaders. And so my young man always hoped to stand for an elective position in his school. But this one day when he came back home crying for the holiday and told me that he could not run for an elective prefectorial post in his school because the headmaster had blocked him for running for an election, it was disturbing. Now, when all this issue came up, I have spoken to my son somehow and informed me that as the pattern has been going on, this time he had been set up and drugs had been put in his unlocked suitcase and under his bed. I did not believe it at first. Not that I believe it now, but because I want answers and I believe all other parents I want answers. So I was summoned for a meeting with the headmaster and the team from the school. We sat. I took this opportunity to raise all these matters to you, Mr. Headmaster. Of course, I requested that this degree remain uh, in the headmaster's office. I'm only raising this because it was apparently brought to the media by the headmaster. I brought the matter of my son being blocked against running. And these are the reasons I was given and I want to quote you, Mr. Headmaster. The first reason, Mr. Headmaster, you told me that for a child to be a leader in this school, a child must be an A student, not an average student like my son. That was you, Mr. Headmaster. The second reason I was given for my son not running for leadership in this school is that students that are overly popular are not allowed to run for office in this school because they will pose an unfair advantage to their contemporaries. Now that was disturbing. However, that was not the reason why I had come for that meeting. The reason why I had come to that for that meeting is because I had been informed by you, Mr. Headmaster, that my child had been found with drugs in the school. And yes, I mentioned it to you, Mr. Headmaster, that when I asked the young man and those around him, he informed me that he would be ready to take all the responsibility and repercussion. But he mentioned one important thing. He told me that the dormitory is filled with CCTV cameras all over. So he challenged the disciplinary committee, Mr. Headmaster, that if they provided the footage of that CCTV camera, he was ready to take every kind of punishment. Incidentally, when the school administration checked the camera, the camera had been cut the day before. <laughs> Mr. Headmaster, I raised that to you. And I said the same thing, but you told me um, cameras every time they go faulty. So on that day, they were faulty. This is a school camera, Mr. Headmaster. It was very disturbing as a parent. We discussed because I am very respectful of this school. This school that I didn't get opportunity to study in, I wanted my son to study in with a comfortable state of mind. So, we discussed, we went into an understanding. Mr. Headmaster, it was your submission in that meeting on the 31st of January this year that, yes, you did not have any facts to expel. If you could allow me, if you could allow me. It was your submission, Mr. Headmaster. In my presence, in the presence of my wife, and in the presence of one of the school lawyers and yourself and the deputy headmaster. That indeed you did not have any fact that that boy was not being set up. However, you requested us to understand and agree on a, on a middle ground. You requested us to agree with the suspension because apparently there were other children that were called, caught in some crime and they were being uh, suspended. So if my son was not being suspended, it would seem and as if there's double standards. So you requested us to agree to a suspension, even when there was no core part. I insisted, but my wife convinced me. In effect, the young man was neither guilty nor innocent, according to you. He was there in between. We agreed to that for the good of the school and for the good of the matter not going out there. It felt very unfair, Mr. Headmaster, but because I respect this school and I love it and my son is in love with this school, I agree to that. It was therefore very unfortunate to see that after those two weeks, even when that young man was innocent for as far as evidence is concerned, it was 
quoted that the headmaster of SMAP gave an interview confirming that my son was found with drugs. That was damaging to the future of my son. It was damaging to my personality and it was damaging to my family. These are my questions, Mr. Headmaster and fellow parents. If a school like SMAP cannot investigate such a grave crime like drugs in the school, how do you confirm to us that you are able to investigate something more serious? What if a fire catches this school? How are you going to explain to us as parents? Number two, if a young man can be hounded and taunted by a headmaster because there are reports of constant taunting from the headmaster on assembly, in the chapel, and personally, and a few teachers and parents can attest to that. I will also mention that some teachers were apparently expelled for being close to young man, that young man. I am informed that my son is psychologically tortured because many of the teachers fear to be seen near him for fear of the wrath of the headmaster. So, my question is, I must ask the parents is, where is the parent supposed to raise these matters? We agree with you, Mr. Headmaster, not to raise these matters in uh, the media because it would be immoral of us. I brought my son here because this is a church-based school. I am a Catholic. Like I mentioned, my grandfather and my father was here, and it's my pride that my son is here. We want answers. Answers on my behalf and answers of the many disturbed the parents that saw this. And if so, it will be only moral to get an apology from you, Mr. Master. I thank you.